Yeah, let me just put it this way. Mexico City, you might know this, the most populous city in all of North America. This place is busy. I say that as traffic entirely stops behind me for some reason. But busy is what the governor had to be today. The backbone of this trip has been adding new business opportunities for Oklahomans here south of the border. Today, he had to put on his diplomat's hat on. When you need to get somewhere quick in Mexico City's notorious traffic, it helps to have a police motorcade. And they were necessary Tuesday for Governor Stitt's nonstop cross-city travel, where he met with both high-level American and Mexican diplomats. This bilateral relationship is, in my perspective, the most important one we have between the United States and any other country in the world. Mexico's foreign relations director for North America said Stitt is the first governor to visit since the pandemic began. We have the Secretary of State, the Secretary of Homeland Security, but we haven't had a governor. It's great for me to come and represent the state of Oklahoma and build bridgeways and pathways. Governor Stitt also took time for some media. First to sit down with major Mexican network TV Azteca, then a one-on-one -on -one with KOCO, where he discussed plans for a Mexican consulate in Oklahoma City and where he sees an opportunity for Oklahoma business. They don't have natural gas in Mexico. It's being supplied through pipelines today. Uh, they're looking to build some LNG facilities. All that technology and those things really uh, line up with what Oklahoma is really good at. And the governor needed that motorcade again tonight as he drove out to the airport, got on a plane to Monterrey, a city to Mexico City's north. He's going to continue his business push tomorrow morning. He's expected back in Oklahoma tomorrow night. We're live in Mexico City. Evan Onstott, KOCO 5 News. All right, Evan, thank you. And Evan also spoke to the governor today about death row inmate Julius Jones. Governor Stitt now faced with the decision to save Jones by granting clemency or letting him uh, die by execution later this month. The process is uh, meet with the defense attorneys, meet with the prosecutors, uh, meet with the Howe family, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we'll be making our decision uh, uh, really, really soon. Are you going to be meeting with the family of Julius Jones as well? Uh, that's not on the schedule at this point. And this was the first we've heard from Governor Stitt since the Pardon and Parole Board recommended clemency for Julius Jones.